Just stop me on the one way Ask the question before I boarded the plane Asking to check my baggage Asking if I'm in the gang Asking me quite outlandishly about my main main Just came from the bank to Rolexes and champagne Because his partner done his thing Set that aside like I said I would My name good We got high as we fly the angels smoke to us Sprinkle that coke on these musical notes These foreign objects float as these 4 autos roll I get high as the goals I set Bring the ladder to the gold scissors I'm about to cut down the net. My pinky right to my neck, jet life for the whole stretch track. Number 12, story to tell, big in life after death. Jersey Mitchell and that style, Mitchell and that stylist. I can loan some style to your stylist, stylist, zero mileage. On them puff vests we bought last night. Three in the morning, you can hear us tearing them up like they dirt bikes. Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn. Drop white ashes from my shirt as it burns. Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Spend money on Chevrolets and studio equipment. I smoke for free because I got my own strain, nigga. Some of my homeboys got their own liquor. Companies I want one, two fool that's rubbing off on me. My crib got chandeliers and palm trees. My life cooler than a tie dye long sleeve. <laughs> L, 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 uh. You hear the pages in my red book turn. Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn. Yeah. You hear the pages in my red book turn, drop white ashes from my joint as it burn. Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn, drop white ashes from my joint as it burn. Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn, drop white ashes from my joint as it burn. We say keep the E in it, Chevy Zone switches, baby. We smoking weed on Chef Highway dipping. Rude number one, don't talk about me around your nigga. If you could keep a secret, we could always kick it. Yeah, keep the E in it, Chevy Zone switches, baby. We smoking weed on Chef Highway dipping. Baby, rude number one, don't talk about me around your nigga. If you could keep a secret, we could always kick it. Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn. Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn. Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my rap book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn I need to get on the road, dog. We could play small social distancing rooms. We could legit do this. I don't know, just put like a Jet Life thing with this too. Bingo, bango, pow. You know what I'm saying? In between y'all shit, I come out, do like two or three, get out the way. Come back out, bam, bam. Like, my folks here, so pow. That's, you know. I don't know about my son, bro, so that should be, like, fucking me up sometimes. So I can't really, like... I nailed it when we practiced it, and I, I was, like, really wish I'd have told y'all to keep it, because I, I figured that was going to happen. It's like... Let's get started. We're gonna start off with Bombay. That's the base of your drink. 
Now, St. Germain, if you've never heard of it, it is a liqueur. It has elderberry in it, so it kind of has a lychee fruit taste to it, a very sweet taste. We're gonna add some lemon juice. Then we're gonna shake it up. Do not ever put champagne, soda, club soda in your drink before you pour it, because it will bust all over you. That, that didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> so, you are going to shake it up really cold, like a martini, because you don't want to add any ice to this drink. It has champagne in it, champagne and ice. Don't do that. You're gonna pour it in your cup. Usually you use a flute. You're gonna top it with champagne. And put a lemon inside. And there you go. Jet life. I mean, I, at this point, you know what I'm saying? At this point, come on, man. How many more times do we gotta tell you we selling shit for and, you to buy? And stop lying and hitting me, talking about, I mean, I was about to buy something, but it sold out. It ain't sold out. We got a whole bunch of this shit, and we want you to have it, okay? So please, get some. Yeah, because you keep thinking I'm gonna give you mine. Buy yours, so we can be fresh together. Right. We will gladly sign whatever it is you have, gladly when you see us. I would love to put my signature on something that has this on it, instead of that t-shirt with Bugs Bunny and all them old ass cartoon characters that you make me sign at gas station. Every okay? time you see me, I got on some 85 South Shore pair. This old, we don't even sell this no more. I just like this. Exactly. I mean, we got so much that we want you to have. You know what I mean? The money that you spend going to the mall in, in that kiosk and making your own shirt, you could have just got one of these and been straight. But no, you want to go put all types of extra people that we don't know on your shit. We done did everything. We done gave you discount codes. We done gave you uh, shopping times to go. Just go. Please. You got all of that money. All of it. I see you. All you motherfuckers doing all them scams and shit this year, fuck with us. Man. Stop going to Gucci and Louis Vuitton and spending all your money with them. Fuck with the, us. We I'm got... not even saying stop going to them. Just buy some of our shit too. No, nah, I'm saying stop going to them because you leave them with no money then you get to fucking with us and then you ain't got nothing. Man, I would. We don't want to hear I would no more. I can. Man, this all is them what this cool is. ass outfits you be wearing, buy some of our shit. Right. And... This is the 85 South Show I Can campaign. I can tell you to go buy some of this shit, and you can do it. So please, 85 South Show. Merch. Buy some merchandise. Right. With your rich ass. Please. Shit. Sick of this shit, man. Damn. What up, this currency, Spitter Andretti, if you only know me from social media and shit like that. But it's candles, and it's all kind of good weed and live instruments. This is 80 Vibe, you already know. Chevrolet's is outside. Chevrolet's outside, Rolls Royce is outside and shit, so clearly, you know, it's one of them jet life functions. I'm just happy to be in this motherfucker. Let's, let's do things. Uh. I only play old music in my old car Counting new money inside my old loft It was a renter on, I fell in love with the spot So I bought through them 90 inch TVs up on the wall My homie hooked up the surround sound and he hit the chords Did the surveillance, I could keep an eye on all my calls I went to Rose Crib, this nigga Richie Got whips and garages organized by colors and shit I was inspired by this I went back to my grind for the first time in years I wrote raps on my flight I kicked it at my house that night Got crazy high thinking about how I could expand mine Put my team on the same page at the same time Then circle the game and close in from all sides Crush them motherfuckers, dudes on mushrooms Think they could touch us without repercussions This work come with something I only play old music in my old cup Counting 
new money inside my old loaf I only play old music in my old coat Counting new money inside my old loaf I only play old music in my old coat Counting new money inside my old loaf I only play old music in my old coat Uh, yeah I played the backseat last Saturday in my roles Reminiscing about how I came up Gradually over time I prayed to God for it But he made me wait Had to condition my spirit So that I wouldn't break Now I'm straight Living the life behind iron gates Having my cake and eating it too Saying grace Thankful for the food Chrome datings on my 62 My paint fresh My interior wet My engine tune Sunday drivers Though I slide that bitch on Mondays too Every day the same to you Once you touch enough loot I only play old music in my old car Counting new money inside my old law Keep the E in it Shepherd's on switches, baby, we smoking weed in it Don't post me in your pictures If you could keep a secret, we could always kick it Road number one, don't talk about me around your nigga Keep the E in it Shepherd's on switches, baby, we smoking weed on Chef Highway different, yeah Eastside on mine just like every time, Jet Life 85. Hell. say this guy is the epitome of flyers jet lifeness oh man niggas that have ever been in the rap game i feel you signing no limit yep cash money yep young money yep now he got his own money yep <laughs> damn that's it. You see that's what I'm saying? That's it. That's only like this much of the shit that right. you could possibly say. All around great guy, currency. Man. Spitter Andretti. Spitter. Currency, the hot spitter, spitter. Andretti. Bro, I, I want that written in tinsel on the back of a robe like Ric Flair would come to the ring in. I want that. But I want that whole thing written across the back Damn. in tinsel for whenever the world fucking open back up. And, and that's why again, you, you. I need to come through like that. Because you got that type that of That meant so much. That meant so much to me. Damn, bro. bro I did you, do all of that stuff. You did all that. So check this out. That's what I was going to say. You know how a nigga had like hoop dreams, right? For sure. But you know like every nigga got rap dreams too. For sure. You, like if it was a created play a, like, rap, nigga, you would have all the motherfucking achievement nah. unlocked, bro. For sure, for sure. You've been co-signed by all the legends. And I had that dream, too. Like, I, I did the same thing with sports. Remember, like, when I was younger, and I thought, like, I would go to the NFL or something, right? I would look at how old people was to see who would be in the league when I got there. So I did the same thing with music. And I was like, yo, like, fucking, if I make it, you know, Raekwon will probably still be rapping and I might be able to get a verse, you know what I'm saying? And like all that shit panned out. Everybody who I ever thought about like 
is for sure like the hunger. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Now, what does that yeah. feel like? We had them conversations all the time about running into people that you grew up watching and being fans yeah. of, and they know your name. So yeah. being as though you in the rap game, which is probably the most prestigious game of all that you the basketball and yeah. all that I say is rap, you know what yeah. I mean? Because yeah. it's probably yeah. the hardest thing to make it in. Yeah. For real. And, uh, especially at this point. At this point, especially. Yeah. So yeah. how do you feel when you run into your, you know, guys you grew up watching and they yeah. like, they fans of yours? It uh, just confirms my faith in a higher power, honestly, because when I was little, I didn't really know who I, like, I'm thinking these thoughts and I don't know where that shit's going, but it was prayers, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's stuff I'm thinking about. And it's, it it happened, like, it, it legit, it, it's, what, it's what happened. What was the first one? Yeah. You remember the first person you met that, that kind of blew your mind, like, oh shit, this nigga know me? I don't want to slight anybody but 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 Snoop, I think the Snoop when when Snoop did it, like I remember like my legs like didn't really work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like he hit us, he hit us and was like, yo, like fam, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get on the album. You know what I'm saying? This is when I was in New York doing pilot talk. Mm -hmm. So nigga wasn't even saying like. Like, yeah, nephew, I like you smoking that weed and shit. Nigga just was like, I want to get on the album. Like, I like the music. You doing some shit. So I sent him one, and I got it back that night. And I was like, that's, you know. Unreal. Yeah, so like, they, they told me, that like, yo, we about, they, they had it in the computer, and the homie was pulling up in the studio, and I, I like, sat down, Indian style. Like, I had to sit down, because I, I, I couldn't really, I, fuck. I was hot and shit. Everything just, I ain't really know, you know what I'm saying, what to do. Nigga, water broke. And that motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Did, you know what I'm saying? So once the shit banged through and it, it played, you know what I'm saying? And, and a couple of my homies was around who definitely knew how I felt about that shit, you know? Right. Like, I don't hide how I feel, so I kind of like, you know, like I was, I was, I was hit, you know what I'm saying? And, and, I, and then dude called me and was like, take my line, bam, bam, bam. And then next thing you know, that's like, Legit, like how motherfuckers would say, like Uncle Snoop, like that's Bruh. that's who that is to me, like that's cool. Exactly. Yeah. Nigga, see, murder used to take this nigga to school. To school, bro. Like, listen, like everybody I ever thought about. Damn. For sure. Like, I remember when I thought about rapping, I saw C Murder standing outside the fucking pizza place with a chain and like a he had an expedition and whatever Jordan's head just came out, and I was like, this dude's not worrying about shit. Like. I, I I don't have those shoes right now and they're stressing me, but this nigga probably had them weeks earlier. Like mm -hmm. this is fucking just what I was thinking as a child, as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then within like months, me and this dude like got pit bull puppies and he's fucking dropped me off at school. Fucking outside my mom, I was banging on the window with a scream mask and fucking bringing me to go buy fucking Jordans and shit. Like Nigga, yeah. that's you got to ride to school with C Murder. That's the safest ride you could have took right there. Yeah, and it, and it, that, it had motherfuckers like out the way too, because it's yeah, like, well, like, we oh. don't know what this and I'm like the coolest guy there. But motherfuckers was like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Dude might be bugging, but yeah. Now how does it thing. how does it feel to be that person now to the younger generation to where now when you show up and somebody get a call from Spitter, they like, oh shit, I gotta I know what to do. Now. I know what to do because cause cause people kept it so funky with me. Like, I had a good example. Like, the same way motherfuckers crashing out because they don't have no OGs and people say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people who who, who I fucked with was hands-on because they saw, like, yo, you know, dude might actually do something, so they was fucking with me and, and like, on and off the set, like, like, like checking on me and shit, and that stuff mattered, you know? So, like, it made me know, like, well, damn, if, if, if one of the little homies kind of gravitating to me, I probably could could make some things happen for him just off my just off having them around me because that's how shit work. You know what I'm saying? And it's just about if, if they if they have it in them to know that they could that being around you is gonna do it for them because they got a lot of competition. They see a lot of little dudes like some of these little ones. You know, they they not really focused. They they just they just stepping in shit and they they lucky and it's, it's making other motherfuckers like not try to do what they need to do. They don't know really what to do. Cause they're like, hey, anything can happen. They're not really on their business, you know what I'm saying? But some of them, they can see it and it's, it's tight. And That's good, what's up. You know? yeah. That's what's up, man. This is beautiful, man. <laughs> beautiful. Man. I mean to get, you know. No, I mean, it's beautiful preaching. for us. For, I mean, you know, for us, it's like we are fans 
of the music. You know what I mean? Like we diehard fans of just music in general, but it's certain dudes that you listen to when you want a certain feeling and you one of those dudes, you know what I'm saying? When you when you want to ride and feel like nigga, I done accomplished some shit, you put that spit on. Yeah. So, privacy glad. Yeah, you know what I mean? I wrote that out here. Yeah, I did that out at the studio out here. So, I remember that. That's when I bought that old Bentley. I bought the red label, Arnage, 99. And my homie was mad as fuck. They're like, bro, you like got rap money? Why did you buy this old Bentley? Like it's 2000, it was like, it was like 2013. Right. And I'm like waiting on that bitch to get off the truck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And they're like, my nigga, like I could have bought that shit, dog. Like, but that's what the fuck I wanted. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's when I think I was supposed to have my paper. Like I, I was been, I was, I been supposed to have right it. There. So when that shit was, was, was out, like I should have had it. So I had to check all that shit off. Yeah. See, they, don't, they don't know that. that exactly. That's that's cold, black. See, it's yeah, all like about when you love cars, it ain't about what's new or who got what. It's about getting the shit that you want. Yeah, it's for little you. Yeah. You survived all the shit the world fucking steal all your homies. You survived it all. Now you got to take care of little you and get all the shit that, that he wanted. Oh, Jason, nigga, I, yeah. I feel you on that. That's Jason why I got braids this year, nigga. I'm taking care of Lil' Me. Look, I fuck with you for that, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm taking care of Lil' Me. I, I ain't never had this shit I when fuck, I was young. I'm getting I'll all these you motherfuckers. I can care less what's I missing. I think that's what happened with this, with COVID and shit. People did, like, did that with, with their hair and a lot of shit. It was just like, yeah, all right, now's my time. Yeah, fuck yeah, it. That now should be the one thing that come out of this. You should leave out, you know, leave when the world open back up and be a little bit more comfortable I with your goddamn self. You did? I did, but I, I stopped paying attention. I just was focusing on letting it grow. Uh -huh. I could have a full Jerry curl. Oh, you, and then you I looked the up. You gang bang. Yeah, wait a I, wait a I looked up and I was like, oh, I can't even. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know. It's you like with some a kind of curl free form make combo. All the music sound totally different. I want that motherfucker, dude. I Photoshop it. Just nah, Photoshop nah, it. Nah, we might, what I might do is just cut some of the stuff that a comb can't get through. And then, you Jerry know what I'm saying, rest. bam. You got to yeah. wait for the Vegas, the, the Vegas. Thing. I you want the motherfucker. The... Yeah, I, I, you gotta... I like wanting to be a hazard to furnace. <laughs> you want the Miles Davis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to apologize. <laughs> like, yo, my fault if I fucked it up. Bruh. Like, come lay a towel down and then come be a player by it. That's what I want. How long have you had Jerry Curl aspirations? Nigga, since fucking uh, Jerome and fucking Morris Day and motherfuckers like that, Jack. My sister used to fucking pretend she was putting a Jerry curl in my head when I was a little boy just so she could put all kind of shit on me. She would just put Vaseline, fucking <laughs> hot water, fucking whatever, and just do shit to my head and put the towel on. Don't take it off. If you take it off too early, it's going to mess it up. And every time I fucking pull up, she's like, it's not a Jerry curl because you took it off too early. Oh, yeah. She always tell me that's why it didn't Finesse fucking come out like that. <laughs> but I want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 but I was young enough to go for it because I always was like, well, I took it off too early that time. So this time I'm going to listen to what she said, but I'm too excited to see the motherfucker and I just end up pulling this shit up. See, them childhood head dreams, nigga. Yeah, nah, sure. they'll fuck you up. That's and I wanted time. a Duke. But no, I got the Duke. Pops That's ain't want me to, to get it. I got the Duke. My dad did not want me to I get none Duke. of that shit. He's like, you ain't got to go around and try to look like them people. You would be proud of you. Hell, he didn't want me to get that Man, motherfucker. I got the Duke. I wanted a Duke like, and an S curl. And, and look like what Duke you had? Who was on the cover? First, uh, Who was buddy? on the box? The dark skin dude the, with the yeah. flat top. <laughs> with the flat top. Yeah, <laughs> that's the one I got. That's what I wanted. Yeah. With the blazer. Exactly. I want, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think she, my mama left that shit in too long because I look like Denzel. Remember when he had to stick his head in the toilet to get the the con yeah, out? That's so my shit. Look like finished. Like the weatherman. Yeah, it was strange. My homeboy. One well, of my, my homies, rest in peace, yo. Man. My homeboy, rest in peace, he came to school like that. He was fucking talking so much shit on my porch because I couldn't get an S curl. And he went home and then. Did <laughs> yeah. he shit himself? Yeah, he had Just say it, though. He had a part. His, they left it in so long that they parted it and it was like this, you know what I'm saying? And down on the side. And my boy was like the color of the sweater. Oh my God. Yeah. For sure. Classic shit, man. Served them first day of school. <laughs> Served him. 
He had the good oh, lit. He would have came shit. through with some righteous curls, but she left that bitch left on that too bitch. long. You leave it in too long. It's over with. You get Damn. to washing your hair out. That shit be stringy like spaghetti. Yeah. You like, oh, so we're wrong. Nah, dude. Yeah. She she gave him a Duke Ellington. Uh, you know, yeah, Cab yeah. Calloway. That's what it is. Lord. Bro, I never knew that you had Jerry Curl aspirations. Dude, I did. <clears throat> well, I'm an ages baby, man. So you know, everybody cool had it. And you hear a lot of that in your music yeah. too, like the samples and shit that you use. Like you could t- do you pick those or do you just go yeah. with producers that are heavy yeah. sample well, driven? I, I try to stick with producers who know that that's the realm I want to exist in. But um, a lot of the times I just, you know, because I, I, I listen to a lot of old music. All I listen to is old. So I, I'll send links, uh, like gift Apple music to producer buddies of mine. I'm like, listen to this album. like. Listen to the Delphonics. Oh, and then, of course. Then we'll dig through it and, and find some shit from it. You know what I'm saying? That's dope. Yeah, right I do it like that. Hell yeah. I think I heard a Blue Magic sample. <clears throat> I can't remember what song yeah, no, it was. I, I grew up. I have. I grew up in a card game house. Oh. My mom had. My mom hosted card games. And that's so. the same house that they was doing Jerry curls in. For sure. All right. So you gotta understand. This is what I was around. I know this type of shit. All right. Yeah. I know it because it'd be like some people over here waiting to play cards. And, and it was like Jerry six curl. Six niggas couples. getting a Jerry curl. Exactly. Patricia and her husband Leroy had Jerry curl. Nigga had his shit cut to the back in a V. <laughs> at a point. God damn. All right. You said nigga had the V for Vendetta Jerry Curl. <laughs> and that shit was cut. Like the back was just cut into like a straight V. And that nigga was thought he was, he thought he was the shit. I always shit. wanted the shower cap, man. Oh, yeah. You wanted to be. So you was, that's you wanted too, to be yeah. from Compton. See, now I wanted the shower cap. Compton. That was Listen. too hood. Too hood. And I think that's why. You weren't old enough get to be that gangster. Because that yet. was the plan. That was Like they knew what shit. was coming. They're right. like, all right, we get him to the Jerry Curl. <laughs> we could just write him up. He's yeah, done. It's you know what I'm saying? Like. We we let him do that, he's finished. So and you're in New Orleans? Nah, hell yeah, nah. Let me do it, man. Some players had Jerry Curls, yo. This dude, Demetrius, used to fuck with one of my aunts, and he had a Jerry Curl. And he used to go in the coloring books and put rims on the cards. Like, he'll draw over what was in the coloring book and then color the shit and make it look gangster. Damn. And I was like, I need to get a Jerry Curl. Like, flat out. That's he gonna I'm watch gonna this and be like, look at my nephew. I remember In the little circle medallion that way you couldn't really read his name. Oh. But it was like the squiggly letters like that but a little gold monogram thing. Yep. Shout out to Demetrius. Real player. Now, y'all two boys, is, I would say, is top tier with the cars. You know, that ain't my realm, but I love to hear y'all have comments. Y'all were just talking about some shit that made me feel like y'all was speaking Spanish. Cause I, y'all talking about parts. You can't put a lip on it, can you? But can you put a, bring the back up and drop the front down? And, nah, you can put a 238 on the back of that motherfucker. It'd be just like but the same. But you could. <laughs> you see what but I'm saying? But you could, bro. It's a Corvette. You I can actually, put a 315 on that. I actually saw uh, uh, you in, uh, I watched his uh, YouTube page called Kev Mac Videos. And you was in, uh, oh, in yeah. Compton with the Santana. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, the yeah, yeah. So yep, yep. How did you get into it? The old to, school. To all right, well, I went to a uh, Mardi Gras parade with my mom, and uh, they had some people from LA who was down there for a while, uh, just saying out of trouble. And they opened a, a hydraulic shop in New Orleans, and I saw one of their cars for a parade. The dude pulled it up on Canal Street, right across from where our jet life office is now. Pulled up on the sidewalk and laid the car down. And while the parade was going on, this is the biggest shit in New Orleans, is the parade. But people kind of was like looking at that because they hadn't seen it, and I was like, "I'm, I'm him. Like I have, that's it. <clears throat> like this nigga just shut down Mardi Gras. Like nobody's worried about the floats. It's floats with big old fucking shit. Titties, people throwing all types beads, of shit. naked people, all kind of shit. And it was like, what's this? And it was a, it was just, it was a '68. It didn't have no Dayton's on it. it had stock wheels on it. And he wasn't hopping it or nothing. He just pulled up and laid it down and. Did some side to side shit, and I fucking yanked my hand from my mom and went across the street. Cause that's like that, it was like that point. It had to be like fucking, it was like 89 or something. So I fucking yanked my hand and went over there and fucking interrogated that dude about that car forever and ever. And then I was like, I'm gonna get one. And that's it. I never stopped. I didn't know how I was gonna do it. I thought I was gonna be an architect or something, but I knew, you know, it was gonna yeah, pan out. I thought the only thing I was gonna have was, would be a low rider. I didn't think I'd have nothing else. I what were you gonna have one? Yeah, yeah. My cousin had the low rider. <laughs> I, mean, I missed the mark. <laughs> he pulled up at the family reunion and hit that bitch. And that was it for you too. Low rider did you? I thought we was rich when he did that. 
Because yeah. he was like, cuz, I'm going to come up there and I'm going to hit them switches for you. And that I was like, everything. I yeah, seen yeah. it. And then he pulled up and it was like, shit is amazing. I got to have one. Just like that. That's it. Right. Now you 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 know perform some you know music for us, but you got such a catalog, man. Like it's crazy. Yeah, you got a, a tremendous catalog. So what's the count right I now? I don't know. I put out a tape every month, like since since motherfuckers knew me. So you know what that means? That means that you got three thousand nine hundred and seventy-seven tapes out. Bam! There it is. There's there's somewhere. How did you do that? Thought about how long I knew you times the amount of times that I listened to the tape myself and figured out that it was a new one, divided that by the times I told people to listen to it. Without a scientific calculator, you did it. Sometimes I'm, I'm just gifted yeah. with the motherfucking right. scientific That's what mathematics. That's what it is, man. You like fucking Rain Man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> definitely 3,977 <laughs> mixtapes. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's, it's definitely 3,977 <laughs> mixtapes. 600,000 uh, 600, verses recorded. So with 3,677 mixtapes. 3,977. 3,977 You nailed it, there, though. <laughs> like, how do you choose when you, you know, because everybody's been affected by COVID and everything's shutting down and it, you know, kind of changed the, you know, how, I, for me at least, how we look at concerts. Like, it made me appreciate them more. Like, yeah. being able to go out and do them. So, with a catalog so extensive, how do you pick the music that you perform when you go out? Whatever I just did, I might know the words to it because I just wrote it. So, that's that's about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, yo, they want you to do three songs. I was like, oh, shit. I'm like, so I haven't been in the studio in the second time. I'm like, what? What songs do I know? And I like what the last tape. And then bam. As soon as I kind of heard the beat, because one, if you, you know, like fucking what was the tape. Fuck, I did had to do one of them two or three times. Right. The first one I fucking forgot it because I was like, wait, huh? Then after I heard the beat a little bit, I knew it. So yeah, that's really how I do it because I've done so many songs. Like Hell yeah, I don't know. Like when I first started cracking and they had shows, when I would have shows. There would always be people in the crowd like, oh, you didn't do... I was about to say, how do you have the request? I used to let people just give me their fucking... This was uh fucking... I, uh, when the fucking uh, iPods or something, maybe. Was it iPods? No, it had to be iPhones. It had to be the phone. So I was taking phones and giving it to the DJ. I'm like, just put this record on for this kid, and then I just run that bitch. That's but that's back when I used yeah. to rap over the lyrics, though. See, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that. Uh, that's, that's the way the game go now. It's cool. I ain't taking no... Food off nobody play get it how you get it. But um when I when I first had when I had the double XL cover and they did the showcase in New York, um when we went out there, it was like me and my homeboy, and I realized like oh motherfuckers is got teams and man and shit going on, people helping, you know, shit, and then it's just us fucking making tapes in the fucking closet, you know what I'm saying? And fucking we get out there and I performed at the showcase for all the people who made the cover. And I rapped like pretty much over some of the songs on my mixtape, which is what a lot of us know as a concert. You've gone and seen people do that. And Who Kid pulled me to the side and was like, a lot of people came here to hear you. And we already heard your mixtape. So we don't need to hear you rap on top of you because we can't hear you. And then after that, I never did it again. I was like, well, shit, I got to know the words to this shit and just run it just flat over the beat. Yeah. And that's harder to do. Yeah, you gotta yeah nah. And I, I hear about it. Like when I'm done, like when I go to festivals and shit, like my homies will tell you, like I that I kind of dread going to a lot of that because I'm on the big bills and that's good, but I feel like my music gets lost on those bills with, with some of those artists because like fucking they gonna throw water and do backflips. Everybody know the, the right, they're gonna jump on the crowd, do all that, then I'm gonna come out there with a joint, possibly sit down, you know what I'm saying, and fucking and and do the shit. But there's a but when I'm done, people always say like, bro, like that was a that was a show. Like you did a show like that. Right. Like we appreciate it. I'm like, all right, and I can see the difference in the crowd, motherfuckers are mellow out and be on that shit and pass weed and just kick it. I'm like, all right, so that, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, because they was waiting to smoke the weed. But like when yeah. you came well, out. Well, yeah, there's a, there's a Concert place. Concert rules, like you. wait till somebody like that. Wait, yeah, something. absolutely. You I, don't know I used what to the... say that on Twitter because people used to tell me, oh, Spill it, it threw me out. I'm like, just wait till I come out there. If you just wait till the, the fucking act that you went to see comes out on stage, 
I'm pretty sure you can do what you want. Concert like hack. Yeah. You Stop did. being hot. Can we bring her? Shut up. Just wait. Just wait. Just chill. Just shut man. up. Yeah. It's going to happen. Man. We appreciate you coming through 80 Vibes and, you know. Nah, this was the shit. Yeah, nah, yeah, but it's man. like, you know, we family for real. We fuck with you. Whatever you got going on. And, like, for you to come here and, and validate, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this bro. that we got going on. Just it's valid. Yeah. I was, nah, it's valid. Yeah, but it's it, valid. I'm saying. The, you validated you me. It. You pushing me. Validated me by saying, come through and sit down and kick it. You know what I'm saying? Because... Right. Me, I always say I exist in the underground, regardless of how long I've been around, because I've turned down invitations to whatever, because I just don't want, you know? Yeah, yeah. So with, th with that, I've said no to so much stuff that I don't get invited to cool things, because they already cool, figure cool. to things that I might deem that I would do. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like, damn, cool. I might, I would have done that. You know what I'm saying? But. They didn't ask because they're like, nah, you say no, like, we know you said no to everything since you got here, so there's no point in asking you. You know what I'm saying? And something like this, like, this is what I've watched go on and be like, damn, like, do they know? Like, I fuck with them for real, and I don't just say that in the instances that I've been around y'all because right. this is something I would do. Like, I know I'm not, per se, the fucking popping rapper to come do shit that's gonna, that's clickbait to help, you know what I'm saying, make this shit go, but I want to come do it, you know what I'm saying, because it, it helped me too, you know what I'm saying, like, in the fact that y'all, that y'all, like, fuck, come do it. No, because you're one of the niggas too. that we authentically fuck with, like, we seen that mean, you yeah, that survive the craziest game ever, For and sure. you didn't have to follow none of that bullshit. Well, I, that's what did it. And outlast If you stay life. the same, you don't change, then people can't front on you. You just make a decision that you don't fuck with me. Like, all right, I can dig that. You I know what I'm saying? That. That's I, it. I live by that. I, yeah. I tell you all the time. Yeah. He damn near say that shit, bro. Yeah, because then the I cause motherfuckers will end up coming back around, too. Yeah, it might be like somebody. That. I know that happened a lot. Like, this year, people found my music who slept on me from 2008 to fucking till the world froze up. And now, by them being stuck and other people saying shit, another motherfucker posted tape. Rick Ross said this, so now a motherfucker won't hear it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rick Ross, because he won't shut up about my music, and that's fucking cool. Man, Everybody that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's shit, one of the yeah. things that make me appreciate you so much, just because, you know, you people might not admit it, but we all look to rappers for inspiration, or just artists in general for inspiration. Yeah, and, you know, me, I'm real selective about who I let inspire me. But you one of the people that's been inspired me from jump because you've been the same and it shows that you can have success and be okay with not having yeah. whatever doesn't come with the shit that you yeah. don't want to do. Fuck Man. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that's the, the thing freedom. for me. Yeah. I, I don't, whatever don't come from me doing the shit that you say I'm supposed to do for is sure. not for me and I'm cool with not having it. Exactly. That's but, what I tell all my partners too. And then it just don't hurt that I got the same shit that them niggas, them niggas who got to yes. do the fucking backflips and yes, shit, bro. I got the same shit, so it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the best feeling in the world to see a nigga that got all of that, been able to amass what you've been able to amass without doing none of the Yeah, dumb not one shit. sucker move, no. Yeah, no. No sucker shit. <laughs> even in the nah, amongst the realm of you in the sucker nah. realm. Yeah, but and I, you've learned how to navigate around the sucker shit, nigga. That's you need the to be knighted, part. motherfucker. Yeah, that's like, the that's, hard, that's, that shit is cool, man. Thanks, bro. Oh Thank man, you, salute man. to you, man. Uh -huh. Thank you for coming, bro. Same could be said for y'all though, man. For real. Hey, man. <laughs> I tried to tell these niggas Same a long said. time ago. Same could be said for y'all. All that weirdo shit, it's just that weirdo shit. We yeah, really got to have some shit where it's like, that means something that, that's been. It will last. That that's you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I said when you came yeah. through and gave her the, the Jet Life stamp, shit. let motherfuckers know that this is not just no fly by night type shit. No, no, yeah. no, not at all. No, shit is so dope. Y'all going, and that's what, you know, motherfuckers I got that mutual like respect. Too, man. I, I need hoodies, though. Oh, we got that. So I was just about to crack for my yeah, hoodie. We got that. That's, so don't worry about that. We, you that you life, think we, we don't already have yeah. that lined up?
I was hoping. Man, come, come on, man. man. Come on, I don't want to come to the house and ask if I can eat, you know what I'm saying? I just came to play a fucking video game with y'all. We'd have had a jury girl kid just for nostalgia. Now look, I saw the joints and shit out here and I was like, damn, I think they kind of looking out. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Was this because? Yes. Oh, you guys just always in here like that. Chad is extremely inspired by your movement and what you do, man. He has always been extremely inspired. I'm like, probably trust this thing. I didn't know what this was. It's not prop weed, bro. It's not prop, yeah. Yeah. Well, it don't have to be prop weed. It just might not be the It might not be good, but yeah, if a motherfucker know about about, about me like that, then... We wouldn't tolerate it. We would not tolerate so bad look, weed. So look, is this part of my like yes. Yes. coming to the show? <laughs> yes, go welcome. Home package. Welcome. Yeah. All right, solid. It's all yeah. yours. I'll always come over here, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. Deal well, you know, you got to let people know where they can find you, although I'm oh. sure many of them do already do, yeah, but still, um, just for... Instagram? Yeah. Spitter underscore Andretti. Hold up, you got to tell me about the... underscore uh, Andretti. Starting line... Uh... Starting line hobbies? Yeah, I got I got calls for y'all, bro. Keep you inside. I've been doing pretty good with this, man. I started a hobby shop just to get out of... get a lot of shit out of my crib. Work! See? So listen. I started a hobby shop, the shit started out in my garage. I built a fucking modified Hot Wheels track See? that could hold multiple cars and make a, a race. And then the homies came through and we started betting on it. Then I was like, yo, we gotta get out of here because we started adding to the track and like, we gotta get out of our fucking house. So I found a building that I got this spot, bam, set the whole shit up. After I did that, the manufacturer of the fucking cars was like, yo, you should do something with this, like, you know what I'm saying, with your audience. I'm like, all right, yeah. I just ordered a gang of shit, like, like fucking bricks, and bam, flipped it, and it worked. And fucking every month is just crazy. It's good. I got a full-fledged hobby shop competing with fucking Michaels and shit. Like straight up, all Turn online. Your into your hustle, my yeah. nigga. Like that's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, it's nah, like it's good. It's beautiful, it's good. man. You're a real businessman, and you're doing it your way. It's, it's possible. It's Anybody watching this shit, it's possible to For stay sure. true to For you sure. and be successful. Do you what just the fuck you're gonna do. Shit. Everybody had to sound crazy when they came up with their plan. Oh when I told my homegirl I was gonna do this hobby shop, she was like, "It's gonna crack. It's gonna fold in a week." And I was like, "Okay." Master P said it's going to be called No Limit Records. The logo will be a mafia dude driving a tank. Yeah, yeah, all right. You know? Who bought that? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, exactly. bam, here it go. Baby and them was like, we going to fucking land helicopters on top of the Superdome. Fucking everybody going to have Rolexes. This is going to be the damn bam. You know what I'm saying? So you got to sound crazy at first. You roll exactly. the dice on yourself, and then the universe is going to make it happen for you. You know what I'm saying? To prove that faith is the way to go. So if you if you operate on faith, I think that it'll always roll out. Yeah, you know? man. And there you have it, folks. Currency. Right. The hot spit of Andretti. Bam. And right I'm here. taking this weed. Yeah. Oh, I came with weed and I'm taking this weed. Yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. <laughs> Crazy man, I'm, this is the longest I done ever went without like telling no jokes or doing no show. Sitting at the house all day, man, with these kids, trying to help them with the schoolwork, everything in the world falling. I don't know what to do. I all I know how to do is talk shit. I talk shit when it's raining, when it's snowing outside, in a blizzard. Whenever it's going on, I'm gonna talk my shit. And for me not to be able to do that, it's got me. You know, I'm going crazy a little bit, so I can't take it no more. So you know what I did? I I had me a show. Yeah, a safe one. A social distance show. Nobody even got out the car. Yeah, and I'm putting it out. I'm putting it out, because if I would have been outside, I would have put something out by now. This is not no comedy special. This is just some special comedy. This is some comedy that I did in the middle of the pandemic. And I want you to see it, because I know you would have came if you would have been able to. So we putting it out, independent. Ain't no middleman, it's straight me. It's just, buy it from me. It's direct to consumer. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no Netflix special. It ain't no HBO, it ain't no Showtime. It, it's 85 South Media. Support it, watch it. Smoke something to it, man. I'm just, you know, 
Shit, by any means. We're going to get it done by any means. Whatever going on, as long as I'm alive, we're going to do some comedy some kind of way. So make sure you watch this. It's coming soon. Ground. May he roll on golden crown in the Chevy, sitting low, just like his pop did for the world club. 57 in the paint shop, it's getting straightened out. I'm sliding in my Caprice right now. The 84 with the rag top. I'm sitting on the porch at Graham's house, watching parades roll by. Whole time, nobody knowing. In about a month, this whole way of life will be over. Time frozen, no more high fiving your homies with your palms open. You gotta watch who you go home with. Watch who you smoke when my son is full grown. May he roll on golden crown. Sitting low, just like his pops did before the world closed. When my son is full grown, may he roll on golden crown in the Chevy of his own. Just like his pops did before the world closed. You gotta watch who you go home with, watch who you smoke with. Being smart, synonymous with germaphobic. When it's hot as it just got, I lost a close homie to the virus. And a month ago, I seen him on the block. Like these murders wasn't enough. Some other shit fucking with us. These crooked cops will put your dead body in cuffs. That's why I play the cut, tucked in the crib, watching UFC fights without the crowd noise. The shit don't feel right. Yeah, may he roll. On golden chrome in the Chevy of his own, just like his pops did before the world closed. When my son is full grown, may he roll on golden chrome in the Chevy, sitting low, just like his pops did. Yeah, we got NBA games being played in the biosphere How the fuck did we get here? Everything weird I'm sure change gonna take some years But I hope it all switch before my son hit the street trying to shift gears Rolling with his peers, smoking, you know how it is I'm just keeping it trill, yeah Cause if he anything like pops, he going straight to the top And I'm gonna watch Full grown, may he roll on golden chrome in a Chevy of his own Just like his pops did Before the world closed When my son is full grown May he roll on golden crown In a Chevy sitting low Just like his pops did Yeah <laughs> Nigga keep the E in it Chevy's on switches baby We smoking weed in it <laughs> Keep the E in it Chevy's on switches baby We smoking weed in it Yeah Keep the E in it, Chef is on switch, baby, we smoke a weed on Chef Highway, different east side, on mine at all times, Jet Life 85, L. You hear the pages 
in my red book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn Yeah, you hear the pages in my red book turn Drop white ashes from my joint as it burn we say keep the E in it, she have his own switches, baby, we smoking weed on Chef Highway, dipping, rule number one, don't talk about me around your nigga, if you could keep a secret. Turn the music off, this is serious business. Hey, fellas, grown man, you remember when you was 20, you could fuck all night? Yeah. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. A lot of men can't fuck all night no more. If you want to go back to the days where you could fuck all night, I know the people at BlueChew.com, and they have given me a promo code so me and my partners can goddamn go get the Blue Chew pills and fuck these women all night long because that's what they want these days. Really? Go to BlueChew.com and use the code 85 South Show and get you a discount on your chewable BlueChew.com pills because they good and they get, make your meat get hard, harder. <laughs> Not saying that nobody's lacking in that department. But I'm saying, if you want to hit it with the rock, hit it with the motherfucking rock. Hey. Go to bluechew.com. Hey. Use the promo code 85 South. Now, I'm not saying that this is FDA approved or nothing, but you experiment with shit all the time. Why wouldn't you want to experiment with bluechew.com? If you out of luck and you having problems getting it up, uh, here's what you need to do. Blue Chew. Blue. Chew.com, go get you some. Said bluechew.com, and go get you some. Go you can get... make love to your lady. Come on, y'all. For a long, long time, and hit her with that wood. I swear to God, I ain't lying. It's a sexual stimulant, it make your meat get hard. It's a sexual stimulant, it make your meat get hard.